All right, hello, hello. Another opening of heavy hitters. And um, this is already case number, is it number five? I guess it's number five. We will see. Oh, no way. So, yeah, again, I left the hits on the table. As you can see, we've had quite some good cards. Uh, two Kasai of the Gold Sand. Uh, Marvels, it's just exceptionally lucky in that matter. And um, yeah, we shall see if that continues. We shouldn't have, we should have one case which is really awful because um, this is ahead of the pull rates we should have gotten. Also, two called for legendaries out of four cases. We did not have a single call for a Majestic yet, so that's interesting. Um, other than that, yeah, check it out. I've got more Rainbow Four Legendaries than I should have, according to the official Flesh and Blood PepTCG.com Collectors Center pull rates. Um, but that's not a problem. I'm going to take it. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. The cheapest Kasai Marvel is its release. It's the morning of the release day. And um, 500 bucks is what people want for this card. I'm probably going to undercut that because I think that's too expensive. Yeah, sure, I do think this because I have it on the table twice. But let's be honest, pull rates has been so good. Oh, commanding performance in foil. I have the feeling that this is going to be very. Why is there a? Why is there a common in here? Hold on. Oh yeah, it's a call foil. <laughs> yeah, that's the right pile. I I do put the foil commons here, foil rares there, foil majestics to the right, and then also I'll put the call foils on that pile. And cold foils, there's commons, there's rares, there's majestics. And if I hit a majestic cold foil, I'm gonna put it into the right so I don't mix those up. But let's see, I mean, maybe we'll find one, maybe not. The fabled, I'm really, I'm really hesitant to even speculate on the pull rates. This might be a 1 in 10,000 packs case, but we just don't know. Um, we'll have to find out. I'm going to be the happiest person on the planet if I find this today. But let's, I'll take everything that this set gives me. If I'll get another legendary. I mean, let's be honest. Pull rates on the homepage. One legendary rainbow foil per case and 0 0.5 marvels per case if you have a case a whole case with just one legendary rainbow foil you should be just on average and that should feel very bad well if you're lucky you will get mixed in one of those cold foil majestics or legendaries but if not that 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 should be considered normal, right? Oh, commanding performance in non-foil. I think this is good. Oh, all right. Majestic Foil, Ancestral Harmony. This is one of those expansion slots. Support for another class, this time Ninja. And it's good to see that. So there's reason for other people who don't play the Arena Champions to trade for those cards. Okay. I think now I'm doing it right. I'm, gonna, I'm putting these commons over here, the rares there, and the tokens over here. So I'm gonna go through this in the end anyways, because I want to count how many, how many of each of those different 
Uh, majestic Foils, Majestics, Rare... No, not Rare Foils. You know, Legendaries, how many I have. So, for the pull rates, and then, of course, I'm going to collect more pull rates from different sources on the internet. Other um, YouTubers and other shops which open a bunch. So, I'll get a an accurate pull rate. I mean, yes. I guess, for the expected value videos, I will take the official pull rates of the homepage. And maybe the the back of my mind, I'll keep my own pull rates. But for the ones that we don't know, for instance, how many legendary call forts are there per box? We just don't know. I will have to go with, um, you know, with numbers I'll find. And then make a careful expected value calculation. Call for rare Miller's grindstone. That's it for box number one. Um... Yeah, I think uh, very nice Majestic. But we'll, we'll see. Maybe it's not that good. I don't know. We'll see. Let me just make some space here for another pile of commons. All right, that should do. Then I'm going to put those away. I'll put the rares away. Um, that goes here. Right, next box. So guys, um, again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's awesome to have patrons who support me. Um, just in terms of, I'm not getting rich, as you all know. But it really shows me that there's people who really honor my work put in here. Yes, opening this is fun. It's, it's really fun. Um... If I complain, it's just because my neck is really stiff and it, it hurts. But other than that, it's fun. It, it doesn't feel like work. What sometimes does feel like work is, for instance, the expected value videos, which I'll continue doing. But I know that there's many people who really like what I'm doing and it feels good. It feels great. Um, thanks a bunch for all the people giving positive feedback, even if it's just a like on a video i have so many videos with 100 percent likes or most of them it's um it makes no sense to be honest like in other topics there would be so many people in other hobbies so many negative people yes every once in a while i'll have a negative one doesn't matter uh, i'll also have negative feedback but if it's constructive you know if, if the guy saying something bad isn't stupid and can you know get to the point and i can learn from that totally great i like it i like it a lot here's a blade fury and foil so i'm also happy about that to be honest constructive feedback helps me um what else what else do you guys want i know that there's people saying i want these videos edited and i want the prices showing on the screen but first off right here right now um it is release day it's the night of it's it's friday morning if i put the numbers in that's going to be completely wrong i'm gonna wait for two weeks until i'll have i can trust whoops oh my god please don't fall over oh my god i'll wait for two weeks until i can trust the prices on card markets because it will all level out. Most of the card prices will go down. Some will go up as usual, like they always do. And then after two weeks, I think it's too late to release these videos. So I might start editing those and just putting the, the card prices of the expensive ones in there for future openings. So if I'll get more cases, no matter which set, I might I'm trying to get Dust Till Dawn, to be honest. Then I might... I'll just add the prices in. That's the next thing I want to do, because I've read this a lot. And if you all guys want this, I personally would like this as well. I li love this when others do it. So, yeah. I think I'm going to sit there. I just don't... I don't want to hear me talk all the way, you know, that all the time. That's the thing. Rainbow 4, Balance of Justice. 
if I'll go after some top 10 videos, this is a very strong card. After all, it's a generic head, so a lot of people can play this. Destroy this, draw a card, activate this ability only if an opponent has drawn two or more cards this turn. So this gets you to draw a card under certain circumstances. Whew. Yeah, well, all right, you can defend and this has guard well, so um, it's not going to be destroyed instantly. Anyhow, thanks for that. That should be everything we should get in this case after, you know, going with pull rates. And if we hit anything else, we're just lucky here. We are halfway through box number two it's either two and a half boxes of utter trash or we're going to get lucky and then it's going to be like even more fun right we shall see i'm going through these here faster now balance of justice to be honest um the cold fall is expensive yes the rainbow foil not yet but you know there's just let's see let's let's look for balance of justice and rainbow foil on card market it is loading the internet right now is pretty slow what is this again come on there a hundred bucks and three people already put it up for sale well that seems a bit high, to be honest. Yeah, but well, let's see if we get lucky. Let's see if we can put something out of here. Something more than just one full legendary. You know, my average is much better. But the official average should be just that. Here's a cold foil face adversity. I wonder if this is like an official, I mean, that should be accurate. It's not like um, car producers putting their WLTP kilometer range on a piece of paper, which you never ever, even if you save, even if you drive slowly, which you can never reach because you just don't have these circumstances which are which they are they do have when they test this but anyways um yeah i i wonder why it's such a variation i wonder but i'm also happy about it so if this was on purpose, is it to make people happy if they are lucky? I mean, so far every box was better than it should have been, right? Also, I've seen many box openings with two mallets in one case. This is... So on average, there should be so many really bad boxes and cases. I just can't imagine, you know cases with nothing like absolutely nothing it's uh it's hard to imagine we'll see we're going along with this doesn't matter too much a runner a runner in non-foil what does it do when this attacks if it has go again create an agility token so yeah sure you can make it get go again with other cards and the agility token is it worth a card I don't think so, but it's, it's it's six damage, right? Evil Magneto. If you have a base arms equipped, transform it into this, then equip this. All right. This will continue. Hold on. When this defends, you may destroy a card under it. If you do gain control of target item with cost zero or one, Controlled by the attacking hero. Oh. If, if, if. Yes, but well, if. That's strong. And it has temper. Costs one. Pitches for three. Defense for two. 
well right now i don't see the potential for this to be the ex most expensive mech card you can imagine cast bones i think this should see play just because reveal the top six cards of your deck create a might token for each card with six or more damage revealed this way so if you know what's on top if you know what's in your deck if you can decide the order of the cards in your deck on top uh, well six cards six my tokens put the reveal cards on top of your deck in a random order all right if you control six or more my tokens create an agility token right you can build a you can build a deck for this around this right that's a fun deck but you can do it Of tendency Arachne look at the top three cards of the defending heroes deck put them back in any order then banish the top card of their deck yeah in any order so you get to decide which one gets banished if you complete a contract this way your assassin attacks get go again this combat chain all right man you can give you can build you can build a deck around this one too right i think i'm gonna do a break after this i'm gonna have to clean up this mess it's messy show no mercy and non-foil i think that's a card worth mentioning reinar card when this attacks a hero intimidate them so intimidate is that like defender can only defend with one card if the defending hero has no cards in hand, this gets plus three damage and then it attacks for nine. Well, ooh, oh my, my piles are about to fall over. Three more packs in this box and then we have another box coming up. Here's another call for it. It's a beck and applause. So, hold on. Call for it are supposed to be one in 24. Is that correct? One in... 24 packs so one cold for per box on average that also includes of course the rares the majestics and the marvels and the legendaries i believe i have more than one per pack but i can count afterwards that's pretty easy math i can do that so the commons go here oh boy then i'm gonna put the rares away here okay last box of the day we're only 19 minutes in so we're pretty fast even though i read some of those cards out that's all right i'm happy with that Oh, by the way, I never heard somebody complain, but I always have the feeling that I I have to go faster. I have to show more good stuff. It's just, it's ridiculous. When I watch somebody else open, man, they can take all the time they want. If it really takes too long, I'm gonna up the speed or do something else while I'm watching. It just, it doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just a good mood, right? Another cursive tendency. Well, well, well. I shouldn't have put the, the tokens all the way over there, but they are not even on this playmat anymore. No fear, no fear. I think I think that's the first no fear I've ever gotten so far, and we're at case five. Non-foil. The the very first at all 
So, as an additional cost to play this, banish any number of cards with six or more damage from your hand at the beginning of the end phase, return them to your hand. So, you banish some of those. The next time you would be dealt damage this turn, prevent X of that damage, where X is two plus the number of cards banished to play this turn. So, I don't know, you banish three, you can prevent five, Easy math, good cards. This one costs nothing, but you lose a card uh, by playing this. I know there's people sitting there and saying, wow, this is great. And I'm like, wow, this is hard to play. So Blade Fury right here. I mean, you can't see it because of the reflection. Costs nothing. Warrior action reaction. Target weapon attack gets plus two. Oh, here's a majestic. Your next weapon attack this turn gets plus two. All right, all right. Cast bones foil. I think that's good. I think that's really good. It, it's not the uh, typical brute card, but you can. You mean you can create tokens up to six? Wow. And there's a whole bunch of brute cards with six or more damage, right? Commanding performance. I hope this is good. We have 12 more pep packs, guys. So heavy hitters was very good and this time actually we've only had this one legendary foil. Huh. And I wouldn't even consider this a bad case opening. This is it's it's crazy. It's if those legendaries are really getting that scars, then the prices should go up. And that what does that mean for the old legendaries? The old legendary prices should go up as well, right? Because there's less and less legendaries in total on average in existence. Yeah, I guess. I guess. We'll see. So, Victor. Uh, this time not a token. High and mighty. Here, Gordon Son. Foil. What does that do? It's a victor specialization. As an additional cost to play this, you may destroy gold you control. If you do, this gets plus three and overpower. Alright. When you win a clash, reveal this and create a gold token. Oh boy. If you put, this has seven damage. I mean, if there's more cards with seven damage and you, you win those clashes and, oh boy. <laughs> so many good deck ideas instantly. This is crazy. I mean, yes, I've seen some spoilers and yes, I, you know, I didn't sit there and make a plan and write everything down, but when you read this, you instantly think about what could this be? What could this do? Prime to fight. If you control a vigor token this turn, this costs one pitch less to play. If you've controlled a might token this turn, this gets plus one damage. It has nine. Right. Anyways, um, that's it for this case. Actually has been the worst case and it didn't feel bad. And that's what I meant at the beginning. If the, if the first cases are good i'm in a good mood and in a rush and everything feels good i think that's it this was very bad but all in all i don't care <laughs> thanks for watching till the next one bye